Well, here we are in the dark. I guess because sometimes when people ask me where I write or what it feels like to write, I guess my response is often that it feels like this. In the dark, groping around, looking for the right thing to say and the right way to say it. Other times though, because I work in my apartment, it feels a little bit like this. When it doesn't feel like that, it looks a little bit like this. My desk. You can see some very important things on my desk. Namely, my computer. This is me not working, but listening to music. My very important pink cup, into which I put my morning tea. Various books that I intend to read or will be teaching shortly, plus the creepy cat statue, and speaking of which, my ferocious feline, who usually sits on my lap while I'm working. Over here, we have generally where I keep the books that I'm using to research whatever it is I'm working on, although, strangely enough, none of these books are at all germane to what I'm working on now. Most of these books are relevant to my novel that's coming out in the spring, like, for instance, On the Art of Cinema by Kim Jong-il. If you can believe it, a North Korean potentate wrote a book about cinema. These are my bookshelves, which I built myself, which is why they are completely askew and sort of ridiculous looking. But I like to have my shelves in front of my computer because sometimes when I'm despairing, I look up and think, I could be doing this. And also, equally important, is a little, um, what do you call these things? Note card? Index card. Which I can't seem to focus on, but which says, Jim thinks I can. And that is a reference, oh, there it is, there it focuses. That is a reference to my longtime friend and hero, Jim Shepard, who, when I was once despairing about revising a particular part of this new book, told me to put that very index card on my wall to remind myself that he thinks I can do it. I used to work at the Paris Review, so I am surrounded by Paris Review prints. These are my multicolored curtains. More Paris Review prints over here. This is a Louise Bourgeois, I think. And over here we have yet another Paris Review print. This would be my couch with a little strange googly creature thing that my cat likes to play with. This is the post that she's completely destroyed. My guitar, which I play when I'm trying to work but not working very well, which brings me back to my desk. Almost everything I've ever written has been written here on my uh, IKEA table. So there you go. That's where the magic happens, if we want to call it magic.